that everybody loves that I do, apparently, is the, uh, what I call branded boogies. Uh, they're just basically hamburgers, and we're going to be, uh, well, the size of them right now, we're going to do about a third pound burgers, and we're going to be using the Bold and Beefy Rub. Uh, it's from Blue's Hog. It's a really good rub for burgers. Um, I mix it inside the meat uh, before I make my patties, and then I will sprinkle a little bit on top, which you can already see I've already done. Uh, but they're pretty good sized burgers. Um, what I like to do uh, technique is do these indirect. So as you can see, we're doing it on the extra large egg today. I have it at about 350 and we have the convector in place. So it should be sitting right where we want it. It's about 350. Uh, if it's 400, it's fine, but 350 is kind of where you want to shoot for. And we're going to be doing them indirect. Um, they'll probably take about 20 minutes. Uh, but we'll check them and we'll you know, probe them and, and find out what temperature are. But we're trying to hit 140 to 160 range, depending on what, what kind of uh, doneness you're wanting. But we'll go ahead and start putting these on. Uh, like I said, this is the extra large egg, so you can put quite a few burgers on there. Um, if you wanted to do smaller burgers, you absolutely could, but we're feeding the, the staff today, so we're going to be getting them some, some nice sized burgers. Spread them out enough so they're not touching. You don't want them touching too much. All right, that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and shut this, and we will just check them here in about eh, probably 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, and I'll probe them and, and see where we're at. You don't need to flip them at all. Um, just let them go. That convector is almost like an oven, so they're good and cooked all the way around, and uh, they should be all evenly cooked. Uh, that's the great thing about the egg; is it cooks really evenly. So. Uh, we'll check back in in about 15-20 minutes and see where we're at. Hey everybody, we are back. Uh, we're going to check on our Brandon boogies. And I think they've been on for about 15 minutes now. Uh, going on 20 sometimes 15 to 20 minutes. It just depends um, on the size of the burger. But we're going to temp them real quick. The so egg's still holding at 350, as you saw. And let's try this first one here. We're looking at about 136. We'll do another one. That one's 148, that's right on the money. So I'm gonna go ahead and put cheese on, on half of these. And then that way, it'll allow it to melt. And uh, it'll still be cooking in the process. And this is uh, sharp cheddar. It's, uh, it's a real good cheese for hamburgers because it's kind of salty and it melts really quick. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this. That dome's gonna radiate that heat down and melt that cheese. And then we're gonna come back. Uh, we'll check them probably just another minute or two and we'll double check and make sure the cheese is melted and we will get to the buns and build a burger. Hey everybody, we are back and we're gonna check these. They've been on for about two minutes with the cheese on. I just saw the board. Uh, let's see what we're looking like. Yep, that's exactly what you're wanting. They're all melted. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these off and build a burger for you guys. Now, like I said, I temp these at about 140. Um, if you want more of a medium well done, I'd probably recommend getting up to about 160 on the burgers. These are pretty thick too, so just, uh, if you don't have a instant read thermometer, uh, we carry them here. We got a lot of different options, um, but I would definitely recommend one. You don't want to overcook your burger, but... Alright, and then for the people that want them done a little bit more, I will uh, leave a couple of these on. Okay. And I will get a bun here. And obviously, it's probably not your first time making a hamburger, but um, you can add whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna pick a good one for myself. <laughs> and Chef I'll, gets first pick. Yes, and then uh, I'll probably just add mustard. I, I don't like a lot of stuff on my hamburgers. I think the meat, I like to taste the meat. I don't really want a bunch of other extra stuff on there. So I'll probably just do some mustard. And I wish I had a knife. I'd cut this in half for you guys so I could- uh, Chop it with uh, that spatula? Chop it. <laughs> Let's try it. It worked. So you can see the doneness. Look at that. 
There you go. All that the way through. That is juice. It's beautiful.